so hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about uh, the experiment on frequency response of lcr series resonance circuit so lcr resonance series or parallel apparatus here it is so we can do uh, both the experiment in this apparatus using this apparatus here it is LCR resonance series or parallel apparatus. So first I am going to explain you about LCR resonance series. So before making the connection, first we should know what is the aim of this study. So aim or objective uh, to study the frequency response and to resonant frequency of series LCR circuit and uh, also to find the quality factor and bandwidth of LCR series circuit. Apparatus require resonance, resistance box, variable capacitor, variable inductor, a signal generator or AC source with area variable frequency, AC milliameter and connecting wires. So actually all these uh, here we have in this apparatus resistance, capacitance, inductance and also emitter and also the connecting wires we have this is what the function generator so the formulas they have given uh, to calculate resonance frequency here one divided by so this is what the lcr resonance series uh, circuit so i have to make the connection here emitter to emitter and then resistance uh, there are three values they have given you can use any one of them so i am going to use 100 ohm resistance so here is the resistance connection then uh, the capacitance in terms of microfarad So capacitance connection is here. So again capacitance to capacitance. And then uh, inductance they have given here. The common connect terminal is there and three different values of inductance they have given. Uh, I am going to connect. So here uh, like this we can complete uh, the circuit diagram for uh, resistance, capacitance, inductance and emitter. So one more connection is here for uh, the function generator. So we can connect from here and we should connect to the positive terminal of the function generator then one more terminal we should connect here negative terminal of the function generator so first if you want to start this experiment you have to set the amplitude within the frequency range so here uh, this is what decibel uh, you can press uh, to change the amplitude or the uh, by using this knob or uh, this button 0.1 and into one multiplier you can use here so right now i am just keeping as it is and applying this amplitude of about um, uh, using this knob here you can see the change in the emitter amplitude how much you are going to apply you can uh, observe in the emitter so i am going to apply here the amplitude of about 6 milliampere using uh, this knob so i have applied amplitude of about 6 whatever the variation you observe 
आर विथ इन दिस एम्पलीट्यूड ओनली मैक्सिमम एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ करेंट इज सिक्स सो द करेंट फॉर सीरीज एल सी आर अपर्टस इफ यू आर यूजिंग कनेक्शन सीरीज सर्क्यूट हियर द एम्पलीट्यूड शुड इनक्रीज अप टू सिक्स एम मिली एम्पियर एंड देन इट शुड डिक्रीज विथ इन दिस एम्पलीट्यूड सो द कर्व यू मस्ट गेट इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट लाइक दिस सो हियर इज दी करेंट वर्सेस फ्रिक्वेंसी ग्राफ हियर फर्स्ट यू द करेंट शुड इनक्रीज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू अप्लाइड फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड देन इट शुड डिक्रीज सो दिस इज वॉट द एम्पलीट्यूड मैक्सिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ऑफ करेंट सो दिस इज द एम्पलीट्यूड वी हैव सेट विथ इन दिस मैक्सिमम करेंट वी शुड हैव द मैक्सिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज वॉट रेजोनेंस फ्रिक्वेंसी सो लेट अस स्टार्ट रीडिंग विथ इन दिस एम्पलीट्यूड बाय अप्लाइंग द डिफरेंट फ्रिक्वेंसीज यूजिंग द गिवन फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंज सो वी हैव set here the amplitude using this uh, amplitude knob and the frequency range within that we should draw the curve in current you should note down in this tabular column so you require uh, many uh, readings to draw this uh, diagram to get the curve like this there is no variation uh, in the current so let us apply 400 okay so still there is no any variation we have observed in the current so next we can click on 1000 uh, k so we can see here the deflection there is a variation in the current so you can start taking reading uh, from uh, within uh, 1000 hertz range so here i am going to apply uh, it is uh, the frequency is around 540 and the current we can see that is a uh, point how much it is uh, so 0 to 2 10 divisions are there each one division is 0.2 0.2 milli ampere we can observe for 500 hertz keep on increasing so the current also should increase so let us apply here another 10k hertz within this range uh the maximum uh, variation we can observe so 1000 after that we will come across 2000 so for uh, 2000.4 milli ampere for not 2000 it is so 1800 63 hertz that is point 4 uh, then if you increase frequency further you can see the current is going to increase so you have to note down all the readings carefully then um, at uh, it should reach the amplitude of 6 and then what we have uh, previously we have given the amplitude once it reaches uh, the maximum amplitude you can see i am increasing frequency the current is also increasing note on each and every reading in the tabular column because it is, it will take a uh, lot of time to note down the readings so once you note down for particular frequency the current you can draw the graph so for how much we have applied here 10k hertz so let us uh, press this button so you can see uh, within this range the frequency there is a decrease in the amplitude hmm. 
so in the beginning it start increasing and reaches maximum amplitude once you still increase the frequency uh, the current is going to decrease this is for series connection here you can see i am increasing the frequency but the current is going to decrease so once uh, if you have the readings like this you can get the nature of graph like this increasing it reaches maximum value then so you can calculate resonance frequency using the inductance and capacitance value uh, here the frequency formula 1 divided by 2 pi root of 1 divided by l into c the frequency we have uh, the inductance we have selected is 3.5 micro henry and 0.1 microfarad if you put into formula you will get the resonance frequency q factor once you calculate the resonance frequency you can calculate uh, the quality factor bandwidth is what uh, the f1 and f2 are the frequencies at half power points bandwidth you can calculate here uh, if you take uh, in this graph f1 and f2 if you subtract these two values you will get bandwidth 